I am on a back street in the back end of West Oxford, outside Vicon, the world's leading supplier of motion capture cameras and technology. Let's go and find out why they are so well, wow. I'm sure you've seen kind of games or film making of videos where you see the actors in a black lycra suit with markers. And they're coated in a retroflective material which is exactly the same stuff as you have on cat's eyes on the road oh and roadside. So when your car drives past a roadside, it appears bright and the cat's eye jumps back at you. So if you have a camera that flashes a bright strobe light, then that bounces off these little markers and then produces a very bright circular image. The cameras track the movement of the uh, markers or ping pong balls and the software then gives you a skeleton so they can use that skeleton in an animated character. The actor has to learn how to react to something that isn't there when they're acting. Yeah, oh, and they may be talking to something that's not there and they may be responding to something that's not, that's not there. Vicon is the largest motion capture company in the world. We certainly are, yes. But why are you based here in what I think was a, a back street down the back end of West Oxford? <laughs> Do you actually build the motion capture, the mocap cameras here in Botley? Yes, some more of the technical parts are manufactured off site, but everything comes in and we build everything in so this building. Put yes. it all together yes, here. Yes, and then and it's shipped out worldwide. This is the head office of yes. a worldwide company. Yes, we have customers in uh, over 72 countries, I think. Wow. Yeah. From a headquarters here in Botley. Yes. Marvellous. Uh, yes, yeah, a slightly oversized tin shed in Botley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Most people have a mobile telephone that has, you know, a 16 megapixel camera and so on and so forth. These, the top end ones, these are also 16 megapixel cameras, but they're not taking one picture. They're taking 200 X number, 250 uh, pictures a second. And a processing, second. yeah, and then processing it all. And they can do it even quicker at a slightly lower resolution. So that needs an immense amount of computing power. So they're is, not a normal camera? They are not a normal camera. The sensor is, is, is unique. The sensor is, is bespoke. Markers or ping pong balls, as people often call them. Ping pong um, balls? <laughs> yeah. Are they really ping pong balls? Uh, no, they're not. In early years, they were actually Kermit the Frog's eyeballs because those balls happened to be soft. And it meant that if the actors were going to be jumping about, then they didn't, they didn't hurt themselves. Right. In the early years, because the resolution of the cameras was so low, the ball size had to be around 25 millimeters, which fortunately was exactly the same size as underarm deodorant balls. So it meant that right. um, for a period we were we were one of the largest buyers of underarm deodorant balls. I mean, the whole idea was that these balls had to be very, very accurate because you don't want the underarm deodorant leaking out. And then the, the markers have become smaller and smaller and smaller. I think the smallest one now is the millimeter, which is then used on the face. Uh, and, but the most of them, they're sort of nine millimeter uh, diameter. So how many cameras do you need for, for a system for doing motion capture for a film, for example? 20 up to several hundred. But the, the whole idea is by having all these cameras going through these little hubs to, to some form of processing, it means that the more cameras you have, the, the machine gets clever. So it's like an anthill. Right. So that the more, the more cameras, the more processing, the cleverer the machine gets. Film-wise, uh, we've got such a large number of um, film credits. Uh, there's things like Gravity, which won the VFX Oscar. Kingdom of Heaven is another one. Star Wars. Really early on was Titanic. Avengers, Iron Man, Exodus Gods and Kings was a recent one. Oh Paddington Bear. Gladiator. American Sniper. The list is endless. Most of the big, the big ones have, have, have used uh, us. How many people can you do motion capture for at oh, one time? Well, the crowd scenes are usually five to ten people and then they kind of multiply that out in the movie but we've actually just attempted to break uh, a new Guinness World Record for the most people motion captured in real time. The current record was 15 and we managed to capture 19 people. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so you're not just um, breaking the world record, you're sort of smashing it. <laughs> You actually have a doctorate. What's your PhD in? Uh, computer vision, but related to medicine. 
Whoa, hang on, related to medicine? Mm. So what does Vicon do that's related to medicine? Vicon's roots have been in the measurement of how children walk, so that's where most of our equipment still goes. Our entertainment market covers roughly 30% of our, our global business. So 70% then of your business is not to do with entertainment? Yes, it's just the most well-known industry. So motion capture is way, what is it way beyond the entertainment industry? Yes, it's in ergonomics, it's in uh, anybody who wants to measure people getting in and out of cars and, and uh, spacemen moving around inside uh, space things and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, measuring earthquake uh, protection in Japan, measuring elephants, kangaroos, dogs or whatever takes your fancy. All of that is, is, is motion capture. So film is just one of the elements of a much wider world. Because technology is advancing, it's faster, quicker, better. The cameras are more sensitive, which means they can be used outside, so you can measure kangaroos and emus and, and dogs and whatever takes you. running along. Well, yeah, they're interested in getting markers on those guys. <laughs> Things like hopping mechanics for kangaroos, for instance. They were bought off with carrots, if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and sporting, sporting people, so the sporting people can be, uh, their performance can be measured outside, they don't have to be measured inside. So the key element, the key essence, is that it's, we've made it usable and user-friendly. Motion capture allows um, the clinicians to really measure the sub-millimetre accuracy of how somebody is moving. A child with cerebral palsy, for instance, would go through a motion capture session. The clinician would analyse their walking pattern and help the surgeon decide uh, what course of action is best for that particular child. Wow! We have, um, you know, people like soldiers returning from um, Afghanistan. They come into the motion capture environment and are able to have their prosthetics um, tailored to their personal movements. So, so it becomes personalised yeah. rather than just a general whatever. Vicon's unique in that we've always really focused on the precision and the accuracy of our data. Um, that's the one thing that everything ties back to and it's why we work with the leading um, clinical researchers in the world. We've survived and prospered uh, by our own wit and by, and by hiring very, very talented people. And people are using our stuff to better the quality of life of thousands of children every year, making really cool movies, making sure buildings don't fall down and all the other stuff that, that goes on. And it's, it's, it's the wit of everybody in this, in this little shed in Botley, <laughs> plus in Denver, that have actually achieved this. Vicon really is, well, wow, that was amazing. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, uh, get in touch via the website, wowwow.co.uk, and please keep up your wow factor.